We're not expecting them to top Tina and Amy, but these pairs would still be a dream come true. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 award show host duos we'd love to see. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at celebrities who we think should team up to host an award show. Number 10, Neil Patrick Harris and Hugh Jackman. I can host any show better than you. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Few people have more experience hosting award shows than these two charismatic actors. Each of them has hosted the Academy Awards, but it's the Tony Awards where they truly shine. Harris has hosted the ceremony a total of four times, most notably bringing down the house in 2013 with the opening number appropriately titled Bigger. Season's new recruits include the cast of Kinky Boots, you know, they're beautiful and buff as Navy Seals. Jackman is also a four-time host, most recently taking the audience to Broadway in 2014 with a hopping homage to Bobby Van. While both are capable of carrying an award show on their own, imagine if they shared the spotlight. The two already performed a duet at the 2011 Tonys, but there's a lot more they could do together. And we'll have a real good time, yes, sir. Number 9. Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone Before they were household names, Gosling was a Mouseketeer and Stone was a regular at Phoenix's Valley Youth Center. The two were eventually paired together in Crazy Stupid Love, where they won audiences over with unparalleled chemistry and an epic dirty dancing lift. When they were reunited in La La Land, Gosling and Stone solidified their place as this generation's Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. They demonstrated that they can do it all. Acting, singing, dancing, comedy, you name it. Gosling even learned how to play the piano for his part. Given their range as on-screen and live performers, they seem perfectly suited to host the Academy Awards or Golden Globes. I've never had this happen, but I imagine if a possum fell out of a tree and started <laughs> trying to scratch your eyes out, <laughs> it would be something similar. Number 8. Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum 21 Jump Street ended up being the cinematic reboot nobody knew they needed. In due course, Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum unexpectedly became an iconic on-screen duo. <laughs> Outside of the Jump Street films, these two have worked off each other wonderfully during interviews. Each actor also has a unique talent they bring to the table. Tatum is a skilled dancer, as demonstrated in films like Step Up and Magic Mike. Hill, meanwhile, has broken out as one of his generation's defining comedians even earning an Oscar nomination for his performance in The Wolf of Wall Street. You have my money taped to your tits. Okay, technically you do work for me. All of this could translate to an award show ceremony of epic proportions. Big fan of Magical Mike, you were fantastic. Number 7. Mindy Kaling and Ellie Kemper Both of these comedians gained mainstream attention on NBC's The Office, with Kaling starring as the talkative Kelly Kapoor and Kemper later joining the cast as Aaron Hannon. I am so happy you're eating again. Well, oh, cool. The two characters were frequently paired together, forming a girl group known as Subtle Sexuality. I'm a bride, but I'm also kind of a tough girl, so I'm going to be smoking a cigarette. Since then, both actresses have achieved leading lady status on their respective shows. Kaling not only starred in The Mindy Project, but also served as a writer, executive producer, and creator. Kemper went on to play the titular character in Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, earning multiple Primetime Emmy nominations in the process. We would give anything to see Kaling and Kemper reunite to host an award show, especially if they perform Male Prima Donna. Number 6. Alana Glazer and Abby Jacobson This comedy duo got their start online, writing and starring in the web series Broad City. I employed him momentarily. Okay, that's disrespectful. Their brand of humor caught the attention of critics, award groups, and even fellow funny ladies like Amy Poehler. This helped Broad City become a full-fledged television series on Comedy Central, putting Glazer and Jacobson on the map as two of the most hilarious actresses working today. Part of me feels like I would be Jay-Z, but then I know that you would maybe want to be a dude. You're right. And Beyonce and I do have similar curves. Oh, yes, you're BMJ. Okay. Having done their fair share of individual projects, Glazer and Jacobson aren't a package deal per se, 
However, there's no denying that these friends are at their best when together. Their comedic chemistry would make them ideal candidates to host the MTV Movie and TV Awards, or even the Primetime Emmys. Imagine yourselves in a world where dogs run the show. <laughs> this is a dog reality show, baby. Number five, Keegan-Michael Key and Jordan Peele. Calm down. Calm down. You calm down, okay? Nobody on earth says Peele and Key. My mom does. Following a successful stint on Mad TV, these two created their own sketch comedy program entitled Key and Peele. They've also starred together in movies like Keanu and television dramas like Fargo. You know, sometimes uh, you're in the middle of a dream. Do you say everything that comes to your head? Lately, Key and Peele have branched out with separate projects. Key landed roles in various films and made his Broadway debut in Steve Martin's Meteor Shower. Peele got behind the camera, winning the Best Original Screenplay Oscar for his directorial debut, Get Out. No matter what award show they host, Key and Peele could deliver some brilliant parodies of movies, TV shows, or plays. I'm gonna sell it. Oh. It's for personal use only and family. Oh, well, thank you. No, I wouldn't want to exploit Keanu's cuteness like that. Number four, Will Ferrell and Kristen Wiig. Two of the most brilliant minds comedy has to offer, Ferrell and Wiig's careers have intersected on more than one occasion. Both were MVPs during their time on SNL, leading to prosperous film careers. They've also appeared together in movies like Zoolander 2 and Lifetime's A Deadly Adoption, the latter of which ironically ending up being funnier than the former. Of course, their best moment together was at the 70th annual Golden Globes. While presenting an award, the two hilariously attempted to discuss the nominated performers, even though they clearly didn't watch any of their films. Silver lining. Playbook. Oh Playbook. my gosh. And the, the silver. silver. I thought it was an animated film. I know, film. the silver that she's, she's collected, collected she's and, over that, time, and they try to take it and she and comes And she says, in, no, that's my cookbook. Yes. Considering how many laughs they scored in under five minutes, imagine what they could do with an entire ceremony. I've done butt implants. And that was a bad mistake. But you still have them. But I still have them. Number three, Tiffany Haddish and Maya Rudolph. Maya Rudolph has been a comedy juggernaut ever since becoming a cast member of SNL in 2000. It's a girl's matching golf club by golf club guy. Four. 2017 was a breakout year for Tiffany Haddish, who not only starred in Girls Trip, but also became the first black female comedian to host SNL. It's me to a bar, a bot mitz, but guess what I'm wearing to it? This Alexander McQueen. At the 90th Academy Awards, something magical clicked when these two took to the stage, holding on to their high heels. When we came out together, we know some of you were thinking, are the Oscars too black now? <laughs> but we just want to say, don't worry. There are so many more white people to come to. Haddish mm -hmm. would later land hosting duties for the MTV Movie and TV Awards but audiences really want to see her team up with Rudolph to host the Oscars or Golden Globes. There's even been a demand for them to run for office in 2020 and to do a Thelma and Louise reboot. Number two, Jennifer Lawrence and Amy Schumer. I'm J-Law. And I am a shoe. <laughs> Amy, you can't just give yourself a celeb nickname. Who knew that Jennifer Lawrence and Amy Schumer were such good friends? You can tell these two have a terrific rapport based on the way they talk about each other in interviews. Do you think That's who should she's win. also rooting for you? No, I okay. think she thinks she should win too. <laughs> After the release of Trainwreck, they were even motivated to work on a screenplay together. At the 73rd Golden Globe Awards, both actresses found themselves nominated in the same category, so it only made sense for them to present together, resulting in one of the ceremony's funniest bits. It has to be real couples, not just people you want to have sex with. Ooh. Like Amy, all the Hemsworth is. is. <laughs> While Lawrence ultimately won the award, Schumer did not hesitate to give her pal a hug. If you didn't already want to see J Law and A Shu host an award show, you most certainly did after this. That girl, if she sees a bidet, she's gonna piss in it. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. We're here to honor achievement in that category. By giving you a golden idol to worship. Kneel before your god, Babylon! Bitch is not gonna poach my look at my party, okay? Go home and change. But are, you, are you serious? Go home and change? What? So you go over there, you tell him you think he's cute? What's the worst that could happen? He could hear me. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm doing it for you. Oh, Rachel, don't, don't you dare, don't! Number one, 
Jimmy Fallon and Justin Timberlake. I guess the rain's down in Africa. With a knack for both music and comedy, few performers can command an audience like these guys. Timberlake has performed live at countless events, even co-hosting the 2003 MTV Movie Awards. In addition to taking the reins of The Tonight Show, Fallon has hosted the Primetime Emmys and the Golden Globes. Just go out there and be yourself, you know. Oh my gosh, my man, I'm in Hollywood. It's the Golden Globes. So great, so great. Everybody should win. You're a yeah, winner. Yeah, You're yeah, a winner. Yeah, 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 I get it, I get it, I get it. While we're on the subject of accolades, Justin Timberlake has won multiple Emmys for his work on SNL. And Fallon also scored a guest acting award for hosting the Variety Series. Together, Fallon and Timberlake are a recipe for comedic gold, starring in skits like The Barry Gibb Talk Show and History of Rap. So when are they going to host the Academy Awards already? Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.